The Good Chicago Fire of 1871 by Mrs. Chase, third grade class. Act 1, Mr. and Mrs. Alary's Barn. The fire begins. One night on October 8th at 137 Decoven Street, Patrick and Catherine O'Leary were talking. Catherine, it's 8 p.m. Let's go to sleep. Okay, sounds good. Have a good night. <laughs> Daniel Sullivan went to visit the O'Leary's house. I am going to visit my neighbors, the O'Leary's. Oh, I think they are sleeping. I will come back tomorrow. Wait a second, what is that I see in the barn? He saw a bright yellow spark by the, by the barn. Daniel Sullivan saw the oil lamp fall on the wooden board. Sullivan saw the red and orange flames climbing up the barn. They start to spread to where Daniel is standing. Oh no! A peg leg is stuck between the wooden boards. Somebody help out! Move! Luckily, the cow pushed down to Daniel and said that they were stuck with the wooden board. They both escaped the burning barn. Fire! Fire! Save your life! There's a fire in the barn! What was that? Did someone yell fire? Get a bucket of water so we can put in the giant fire that is spreading. Somebody call 911. We need the firefighters to come ASAP. Move! Two, the failed fire alarm. Uh oh! William Lee Gasper Aaron was going crazy when he finally got to Mr. Gall's drugstore. Mr. Gall, give me the key for the alarm bus so, so the firefighters can put the fire right away. The fire truck already passed. I don't think so. I don't even see any fire. Matilda Schaffer was one of the firefighters who was trying to help stop the fire. Okay, everybody, there's a fire in Chicago. I need all of you to go there and stop the fire as soon as possible. Okay, we're, we're on, on our way. way! I'm so tired because we just put out a huge fire yesterday. Yes, and we damaged a lot of our equipment. I still hope we could put out today's fire. Later on, they realized that Matthias Schaffer accidentally directed the firefighters to go the wrong way. Oh no, we oh. went the wrong way. We wasted so much time that the fire will be getting bigger and bigger. Oh, oh no. no! Soon all the Chicagoans were wide awake trying to help, trying to escape the fire in any possible way they could. This feels like a total nightmare! The fires went north and east to downtown Chicago and it, can't, and it burned down 17,250 buildings! It's been so dry because it hasn't been on rain lately! The fire spread quickly. There's more to get to stop the fire. Yeah! 185 firefighters and the citizens of Chicago all worked together to help put out the fire. Act 4. Who started the fire? It was a tiring process, but the Great Chicago Fire was finally stopped on Wednesday, October 10th, after three long days. It was faded out with the help of rain, empty lots, and Lake Michigan. About 300 people died from the fire. A thousand people became homeless. I'm homeless because my house burned down from the fire. Who started the fire? We are reporters, and we need to tell everyone how it began. About a third of Chicago was burned down. Well, it definitely started on 137 Decoven Street in the O'Leary's barn. It spread quickly because most of the buildings are made out of wood. I think Miss O'Leary must have started the fire because she is Irish. It must have been caused by her cow cooking all around during Mrs. O'Leary's milk. This was probably just gossip, but the rumor spread quickly. Did you hear Mrs. O'Leary started the fire? She was making her cow and it knocked over a lantern. No way, did you hear Mrs. O'Leary started the fire? She was making her cow and it knocked over a lantern. No way, you heard Mrs. O'Leary started the fire? She was milking her cow and knocked over the lantern. No way, did you hear Mrs. O'Leary started the fire? She was milking her cow and it knocked over the lantern. No way, did 
Did you hear Mrs. O'Leary started the fire? She was making a cow in an October lantern. I heard she was angry and she started the fire because she wanted a revenge. Mrs. O'Leary is such an old hat, she looks like she's 70 years old. I'm so upset that everybody's blaming me for this terrible fire. I know nothing of these newspapers are true. Only in the 30s and you were definitely not at the barn at 9.30 p.m. and the fire started way before that anyways. I heard the public cell in my house started fire because he was there too. It wasn't me. Nobody knows that. Rebuilding Chicago. Luckily, the water sewage and transportation system did not get damage to the fire. Even though the fire destroyed much of Chicago, we worked hard to rebuild our city. Now we build with fire resistant materials like steel, brick, stone, marble, and limestone. Although the Great Chicago Fire was a terrible event, we were able to rise back up afterwards. Now Chicago is better! I learned that 17,450 buildings were burnt down from the fire. I learned that Chicago, the Chicago fire lasted three days. I learned that the Chicago fire started at the O'Leary's barn. I learned 300 pe about 300 people died. I learned that 1,000 people went homeless. When people worked hard to build Chicago, and now it's better than ever. I learned that nobody really is sure that who started the fire. I really like the part when like Diego said, uh, let's work together to uh, rebuild Chicago and like I like how everyone like screamed, yeah. I learned it was faded out with rain and from the Mich Lake Michigan. My favorite part when um, when uh, Bowen said, oh no. My favorite part was when we did the play. Like, I learned that, like, like the Chicago fire started in 1871 and October 8th. My favorite part when, was when Rashawn said moo. Um, I know, um, I learned that 100,000 people were homeless. I learned that even though Mr. Lee told Mr. God to put the uh, alarm box out, it, but, even, but it was never recorded. I learned that Ms. C.F. Sheffer sent the firefighters to the wrong way. I learned that about 180 firefighters to stop, help the fire stop. My favorite part was when uh, the, the citizens wanted to work together to stop the fire. I learned that 300 people died. I learned that 17,450 buildings got burnt down. I learned that it was made out of wood. I like when everybody worked together to make the backdrops. My favorite part was when everyone was all at the end, they were like, um, they all, at the end, we all did something all together and it was really fun and we bowed and it was good. I, I like Chicago Fire. Yeah!